What up guys, so today I have a WWE action figure setup for you guys, 2.0, um, because I figured that it would be nice to, you know, get another setup in, because why not, and let's just dive right into it. Um, so first we have Kurt Angle doing a suplex to Kenny Omega. And then Kenny Omega oversold it by by dying. And here we have Triple H uh, getting hit with the 619 by Rey Mysterio. Always like that position there. Very nice. It was hard to do that. Here we have Brock Lesnar doing an F5 to Booker T outside of the ring. Don't know how that will play out good with cutting on Kenny. You have Ted DiBiase Jr. doing like a backbreaker type thing to Daniel Bryan. I just thought, why not add Ted DiBiase to this setup? Next up, we have John Morrison taking an RKO by Randy Orton. That one took a while to do. It just kept falling and ruining the whole entire setup. So, yeah. Here we have the iconic Stone Cold hitting the stunner to the rock while... Obviously, The Rock is going to oversell it. He's getting lost out the ring. And the, I'll say, like, the big piece of the setup is this part. I'm going to dive deep into it. So, Jeff Hardy was going to do a swanton bomb to a laying down Sol Sokoa right through the table. Already bad enough. Here we have Finn Balor that came from the top rope right here. And then just kicked in Jeff Hardy, and he's gonna fall right down to the mat. That would be hard landing. But Ricochet on the ropes is gonna do a springboard 180, I think. I don't know what they call this anymore. To Solo Sokoa. So Solo Sokoa is getting splashed on. Um, anyways. So. I figured why not give you guys another another setup, and I would say this was it doesn't look as much, but it took a while to do. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and oh, I'll see you guys in next time.